just a little bit here because I'm loud. But uh, yeah, the um, I've been I've been struggling with that matchup for forever, and I know that it's one that I can win. Um, that was the one thing I was afraid of when I was fighting you, because I was really afraid to like bring in the secondary Krom, because I know you can fight Krom players, especially back in Xanadu, especially that loudmouth Krom player. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> All right, well here we go. Losers finals: Adrian Reyes versus Sax. All right, Adrian putting in the first damage, but then uh, Glacier Boo answering back. I do want to see how another zoner deals with some of these tools coming out from Krom, because I, I I struggle with this character so much. I mean, as you guys just saw. Uh, I definitely need to work on that matchup a little bit. So let's see what's going on here. And already, Glacier looking pretty comfortable here. He's got control of the ledge as we speak. I feel like Glacier Blue is very comfortable like fighting against like zoners and like uh, projectile characters. He knows when to like come in and then like um, get with a good hard read punish. Especially if it's like he's reading where it's like when he's coming in, Adrian's like hitting him with the, with those jabs, and he's like, Nah, I'm just gonna grab you, man. I'm gonna throw you. Yeah, you can see here too, man. He's just like he's just hovering just outside of Adrian's range. He's just waiting for that punish, and he's getting a lot of work out of that force. Ooh, almost guy with the jab back air, the most iconic thing for Krom. You, you felt that. Yeah, dude, that jab to back air, man. I, as soon as I hit by that jab, I'm like, I'm just dead. I, I die, right? And I usually do. A smash. Up smash though, Adrian. So Ooh, he's not gonna be back. shaken by We're that. All right, we're bringing it to Smash Four. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian is, is not going to get shaken by a, or by a stock like that. He's just going to bring it right back, even it back up. All right, Adrian pushing off with the back air. But, like, the Glacier Blue is coming in real. with the juggles to forward smash. It's like Glacier Blue knows when people are just coming in, it, answering that. Yeah, and the pressure is just unreal. Like, he doesn't give space to set up these projectiles with what Link wants to do. And it's so hard to get him off of you. I've heard um, about Glacier Blue in um, Xanadu. How is his placings in there? I'm pretty sure he places fairly well. Um, I'm really bad at remembering placements, so I, I always I want to say ninth. Oh yeah, definitely. Ninth definitely. or thirteenth. Look at this chase. Just taking his time getting in. Oh, Adrian though, just throwing at that forward air. Ooh. Gets the catch too. Oh, messing with that with the arrow and then the air dodge to the ledge. Yeah, he's getting everything he can out of this distance now that he has it. I can see Agent trying to do with the uh, with the boomerang, bring it back in to ruin his uh, his chances for back airs to get off of these. Oh, but Ooh. like with the up tilt, catching that. All right, now it's back to last stock. Yeah. Fisher Blue having the uh, advantage. Adrian's gonna have to break the stock back and forth here, though. He's gonna have to get this one first. Bow with swords. Exactly. We're actually boxing a lot more here, man. Adrian's just staying in this time. He's like, all right, I can't get these projectiles out up close. I'm just going to stay in and kind of get the hits off until I can back them off. It's the way to do it, too. I see Adrian keeping his distance. He's like, I can't go in. If I do, then, like, I'm just going to get bodied by that Krom. So I'm trying to play safe, uh, back off if I can, shoot some projectiles, and then, like, come in if I can. But, ooh. Oh, the, oh okay. Oh, man. Got the bomb to... Uh, Bring him uh, both to the right side, and then game with the Nair. Okay. Adrian looking for that read. He just wanted to finish that stock off, finish this game off if he could. But Glacier keeping calm, getting these grabs too. Krom traditionally doesn't get a whole lot out of grabs, so you're not expecting to get grabbed by him as much. But when you know that, you start grabbing oh, a lot. <laughs> I seen the down smash with the invisibility frame. Bomb is up on the ledge. And oh, is this it? He's, he's, he's gonna back. He's gonna push him off. Early up, he does click the ledge though. He's able to make it back. Wow. Oh, missing the up air, but it was getting hit by the side tilt. Oh, oh, <laughs> that could have brought him down. Ooh. Oh, but like, oh, let go. The grabs, grab too man. long. The percentage is racking up here. Uh oh. Oh, he's reading that. Okay, that's good. That's really smart. The air dodge out was. Very oh. smart. Oh, but it clipped him just out of the air dodge before the ledge click. Like, dude, Glacier has been nuts with those today. Like, exactly. I feel like he's getting two or three of those a set yeah. where he Garnet. not only spikes you with the uppy, but just grabs the ledge at the same time. Like, so we got some read. Uh, according to Glacier Blue, he was trying to ledge trap. Man. All right. We're bringing it to FD. Oh, no. Wait, that was a misinput. They're actually going to... Uh, Adrian's counter pick, and the winner is thinking about it. So, what do you think what's gonna happen in the next match? I know, like Adrian was like when he loses with Link in the first game, he would normally switch either to Lucina, which that could be a good matchup against Krom. 
Yeah. Especially like stopping his up B. I mean, exactly. He's yeah, going and in. so got far. Blue Prom versus Red Lucino. So red far, versus blue. Yes, he's, it's, I'm telling you, it's the red counter pick. It was the right move, all right? I didn't win with it because I'm bad. <laughs> but the red is the right counter pick. I'm just saying. Glacier blue, red Lucino. All right, father versus daughter. Let's go. Yeah, but yeah, I, I really feel like um, sometimes I just feel like these, like Crom and Roy, like they just eat zoners sometimes because they can really just, they get in well because they have so much drift and then they can punish so hard once they're there. Zoners tend to not have that frame data to be able to just fight up close like that. So I see like this is a very good, uh, very good game for uh, Lucina to start off against Crom. But uh, I see Glacier Blue coming back trying to make the game even. It's a battle between back and forth with side Beast. But like the cool thing about with Lucina against Krom is when Krom is about to recover, you can just like stop that with just like with the counter if you can just like time it correctly, which is like is a really bad thing for Krom like off ledge. That'd be such a visually flashy move though. So. Oh the forward smash, that was Mark, that was a tipper. Called it. Agent Ray is coming in. It's like, no, my sword's, uh, my sword. Oh, but Air like, one to the forward but, smash. But Krom's right saying, back. like, yeah, you have my sword, but this is the OG. Right, yeah, <laughs> but I had it first. Exactly. Let me show you how the Falchion. Yeah, Falchion, Lucina versus Falchion? Big Daddy Krom. I shouldn't talk about Fire Emblem lore. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you ever played a Fire Emblem game? I, I played one, and then, like, I, I didn't want any of my characters to die, so I was resetting a whole lot, and then I was like, I, I just I didn't have the patience. Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're doing like you're dealing with like with permadeaths, and then it's like, yeah, I don't want anyone to lose. Yeah, I, I feel that. Like, I've been doing that with like Fire Emblem Awakening, where it's like it's been like really hard, where it's like. Is that the GBA I, one? No, Fire Emblem Awakening is the one on the 3DS, the oh, one okay. that like kicked Fire Emblem back in the U.S. GBA one was the one that I had. The Ooh, oh my god, the, that um, the up hit just that one little spot where he's going to bounce straight out. We're talking about Fire Emblem, and meanwhile, Fire Emblem characters just going to town here. Someone is about to permadie at the end of this match. Exactly. Just like the games. Actually, that's not necessarily true, because Glacier's still got a, got, a, got some life left in this. If he loses, he's still got one more, one more map left oh, to go to. Oh, but missing with the counter, but he's got with Ooh. the read. Adrian's waiting on off. He's just baiting out. He's just trying to bait out an option, and it's actually working out really well for him. Adrian's gonna try to find a way back to the ledge, and there we'll do it off. Fair from ledge. ledge. Oh, but missing the opportunity. Oh, but like the panic air dodge. Yeah, but like when you're worried oh, about hit, getting hit by a downfield. Oh, but it back to even. Let's go. Man, we could have just started here. One stock, yeah. zero zero. Exactly. Woo. All right, Adrian, coming in, putting in the work. And I'll say it again, side B is just such a flashy move visually. Like, it just looks cool. And the players, you really know how to use it, too. Like, I think it's really technical. All right, here he comes. Ooh, Counter to stop. That's game. The, yep. Yep, I called him, man. The down the down B against, uh, the down counter against, like, Krom coming back with the recovery. It is tough for Krom. It's, uh, if you can force him into it, if you can force him to have to recover with that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Man, I catch you on. Sounds good. But yeah, if you can force him into that up B and just, you know, that's why, you know, even that air dodge before when Lucino suddenly has the stage, you just don't want to get nailed by that counter. I think, like, with Glacier Blue's, like, plan that he should do against Adrian's, um, <coughs> Lucina is, like, just really stay in neutral. To really, like, know when to, like, get off ledge, especially, like, coming with fair from ledge. But, like, with also, it's, like, the thing it's like, especially the back off on, where it's, like, if Lucina's going to gain control on ledge and then... Prompt recovery is just gonna like bite against his ass. Right. We see right. Uh, Glacier Blue literally put in the work early, early uh, beginning for that stock. Glacier choosing to go to town, which I think tells me that I think wrong choice in my match. <laughs> oh, how so? Because I went to town. Mm -hmm. All right. And it seems to be in with the force match, but missing. But then answering back with the back air, down air. He is covering so many options. Prom's coming in. Oh, but oh, the platform oh. saved him. People say that homie Randall is dead. He's not. He just moved to town and city and changed his name. He's in the witness protection program. Caught with a grab. And called out with the forward smash. Adrian taking control in this stage. I think Adrian actually has Glacier Blue figured out, but we'll see later on for this match. Potentially, but man, Glacier 
It's definitely showing he's not someone you can sleep on. See, that's a smart thing. It's like, you know when, like, Lucina's coming from low, and knowing when it's like, time it perfectly, like, when he's re when she's recovering. Right. thing that's like, just like, Prom has to do with, because like, even though it's like, it's a good recovery for Lucina, just, oh no, just like her it? father, he just going farther from that ledge, you're just not going to reach the end goal. Oh, but answering back at each other, sword to sword. These guys are really fighting to get into grand finals. That jab reach is so high too. Adrian tried to jump out and the jab just, just at the tip of it, still caught. Somebody has oh, to die here. Called it off with the counter. But coming back in, Ben, oh, taking in that lead stock. And for a second there, I thought I was wrong. I was like, wait, no one's actually gonna die here. That counter did finish it off. Exactly. Adrian had really good predictions with that. Adrian's trying to juggle it off, trying to get him off him. He's like, okay, I have another stock. I just have to keep my distance. I know he's going to come forward for me, but it's like, hey, I'm his daughter. I have to succeed him in some way. <laughs> and a couple of uh, a couple of sword clashes there, like back to back, get into the lightsaber duel. Yeah, this is like major sword here. fighting right here. Adrian, Adrian recovering back in. Oh, but like the unanswered down smash to uh, out of shield up B from Glacier Blue. And the ledge trap game has been such a huge part of this because just both of these characters hit so hard that it feels like every other hit is sending someone off stage, and they're so fast that even if it doesn't, they kind of have to drift back to click the ledge to be safe, you know? All right, guys, game three, last stock between Adrian Reyes versus Glacier Blue. Adrian's still having the percentage advantage. Oh, <laughs> poking him when he's doing the animation oh, no. for the up B. Oh, Ooh, the counter wasn't out in time. That does give Adrian a chance here. Or, er, Glacier a chance here. I'm oh, sorry, getting out of shield again with the up B. They're both playing sword users. I'm having trouble telling them apart now. Exactly. <laughs> just, just focus on red and blue. Yeah, red yeah, blue. you're right, you're right. Red and blue, like Halo. Oh, the guy with that and caught with the forward Ooh. smash. Adrian getting a small pop off. Now, Lucina, that was the right pick. Just, just barely able to eke out that victory. It was close too, man, down to 55%. And Lord knows 55% is still percent for Krom. Exactly, man. Good plays from both our players. But Agent Ray is coming back to rematch Sax in Grand Finals. Managed to pull it off. Exactly. And we're going to get the rematch, the run back in Grand. Our two players uh, talking their match off and be like, oh, yeah, I could have worked on this. And like, oh, that was good, though. See, yeah. that's, that's why I like with matches like afterwards and Harvest, people just talking how they are because they're everyone in this venue is learning how to improve, to get better. Always. That's the most important thing. Always. But anyways, guys, uh, that was for uh, Losers Finals for Glacier Blue versus Adrian Reyes. We will see Grand Finals with Adrian Reyes versus Sax, and we'll hope to see you then. All right.